I am now going to take you through the RF Activity Interface Reporting Dashboard, which is the replacement of the PI Award Interface. From my sign-in screen, I am going to select the Dashboard drop-down list of values, and I will select the RF Activity Interface Reporting. As you can see, it is all tab-based, and you will see the functions that you are familiar with today. Administrative Inquiry, APT Inquiry, Accounts Payable Inquiry, Purchase Order Inquiry, Requisition Inquiry, People Inquiry, Accounts Receivable, Cash, and your monthly summary reports. One of the new tabs we have added is the Alert tab, which provides some of the key monitoring information based upon feedback that we've received that people would like to see up front and know about. And what you can see is we have employees terminating, new person assigned on a grant, new awards created within the last 30 days, what reports are passed to or outstanding to sponsors, my awards that are terming in the next 90 days, my projects that are terming, and what reports are coming due on my awards. APT inquiry, we have the standard search criteria that you have to, and we've added some additional criteria, the ability to search by award type, the ability to search by award classification, maybe I want my agency awards, my campus royalties, maybe I just want my sponsored program data, and maybe I only want the active ones, or maybe I want the at-risk ones, maybe I want sponsored programs for a particular sponsor, just select and fill out the prompts and click the OK button and the list will return. In this scenario here, I am going to do a search just upon one award. Click the OK button. And one of the new features you will see is in regards to the dollar fields, we have a drop-down list of views that you can select from. We are defaulting to the standard. I want to see the total, direct and indirect. So the columns to the right for current budget is your direct and indirect total, your expense encumbrance, your available balance. But maybe I only want to see my direct cost, so I will change this view to direct cost only, and my dollars will change, and my direct spent will change based upon the view that I have selected. We still have the standard drill down capabilities that you are used to. I will drill down on the available balance. And as you can see, it returns the award summary inquiry screen that you are used to in PI Award Interface. With the ability to drill down on the categories to see the individual expenditure encumbrance detail. One thing you will notice on the export options, you have more than one selection. I could select PDF, Excel, PowerPoint, or any type of data file. And it will nicely export the data, as you see on the screen, into the selection chosen so, so that you could send that report or this information off to whoever you may need to. On the APT Inquiry screen, as we scroll down, we have the Project Award Inquiry, which you have today, and then we have Project Task Award Inquiry, and then we have your Expenditure Detail by Monthly Date Range, which you have today, but we have also added the ability to search just for subcontract information based upon the purchase order or the expenditure being in the sub-award category. So if I wanted to see my current active subcontracts with Cornell University, I would select Cornell University, hit the OK button, and it would return a summary based upon PTA and show the expenses and encumbrances with that particular vendor. Or maybe I just want to see all subcontracts on open awards from my campus location. I would enter my location code, hit the OK button, and the data would return. Accounts Payable Inquiry, the very first portlet is the portlet that you are used to in PIAI with the search criteria of award, project task, invoice number, vendor name. We have also added the ability to search based upon the Accounts Payable Approval status. So maybe I want to see all my invoices that are on hold. I could do that just by selecting the drop-down list and selecting invoices that are not validated or in a validated status. The second portlet we have added is the ability to search for payment information. Maybe I want to know if a check to a particular vendor 
has been sent and on on a particular AP invoice or just search for all my payments made in the month of March. I could enter my date range, click the OK button, and you will be returned a list of, of payments made with the appropriate AP invoice number processed. We have also added a vendor invoice summary. So here you have the ability to search for all payments made to a particular vendor for a certain time frame or a particular vendor for a particular project PI, award PI, or just for my campus, or on a particular award project task. We have also added the accounts payable invoices where vendor E verify information is not on file. So you would enter your campus location code, click the OK button, and a list of vendor invoices where the E verify information is not on file and the award is subject to e-verify. Purchase order inquiry, we have the standard purchase order search criteria. We have also added the PO approval status that you could also search on. The second portlet, we have the open purchase orders with active encumbrances because maybe I'm getting ready to close out that award and I need to see what open purchase orders are on that award, on the award project task, or for a particular vendor. You enter your information, you can enter one to many in these prompts, click the OK button and the information will return. People inquiry. We have the standard search criteria that you have today of to find all people in their payroll distribution charges based upon employee, award project task. We have added the ability to also search for a particular PI, a particular department, or by cat expenditure category and for a date range. And it will return the list of those people with drill down ability to see the detail. One of the new features we've added is the ability to see labor schedule information just based upon a search. So maybe I want to see all the labor schedules on an award. I could enter the award, hit the OK button, and the data would return, showing me the labor schedule start and end date, the employee, their assignment status, and the percent of their labor schedule.